An arrest made after a story you saw only on 7 News. This man, Cedric Bowers, accused of stealing a car by having a tow truck come pick it up and then bring it to him. Only 7 News showing you this surveillance video, capturing that tow truck driver taking the car away. 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger live at the Denver County Jail. Marshall, you found out the tow company never asked the suspect for proof of ownership. Yeah, according to this police report, Bowers, who is in jail tonight here in Denver County, said he had lost the keys to his 1988 Chevy Caprice. Well, that was enough information to get a tow truck driver to go get the car from in front of the real owner's house. Well, tonight the suspect is in jail, the car is found, and only after our story caused a tow truck driver to come forward. In this video you saw only on 7 News, a tow truck driver picks up this 1988 Chevy Caprice and tows it away. But the owner never asked for it to be towed and reported it stolen. Less than two weeks later, the Caprice is found. The car, unfortunately, is not in good shape. It's nowhere near its original condition. Brandy Roby, whose brother owns the car, tells us the wheels are gone, the windows smashed. It's now here at the Denver impound lot as evidence. The car was found on the same day 26-year-old Cedric Bowers was arrested. Police believe he filled out this tow form, claiming to be the Caprice's owner and calling himself Jason Witten, the same name of a Dallas Cowboys tight end. With this, all you do is fill out a name and all of a sudden you got a vehicle. We reached the tow truck driver by phone. We're not revealing his name or his company because police have not charged him with a crime. You don't wait to be, to be shown a title or any proof that it's their car? No. No, we do a receipt, write a receipt up, they sign for a receipt, they make a payment. We drop the car and leave and go on to the next one. The tow truck driver took the car to an apartment near 30th and Lawrence. After our story aired, he went back to this location. According to the police report, the tow truck driver did not see the Caprice, but he did see the car the suspect was driving that day. He took a photo of the car, gave it to police. Only an hour later, an officer spotted it and arrested Bowers. We checked Bowers' criminal history, and it shows that he has nearly a dozen aliases. We also found out that when he was arrested, he was on probation wearing an ankle monitoring bracelet. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News. Very complex story. Thank you, Marshall. We first heard about this story from a 7 News viewer. If you have a story we should look into, email us at newstips at thedenverchannel.com.